Hi, I'm Jonathan Keatson, and I'm here at the American Society of Hematology meeting in San Diego in 2018, where my group has just published some, presented some of the work we've done on the MMRF Compass study, looking at trying to characterize the genomic landscape of multiple myeloma and how it changes with time. And really, the goal of this project and the work we've been doing is trying to translate genomics into the clinic so that physicians and patients can really access cutting edge research as we define it and help their clinical outcomes. So some of the work we've been doing now has been identifying a group of high risk patients where we think we now have some genetic markers that can be identified through uh, complex genetic testing, so whole genome sequencing and RNA sequencing, where we can now identify a group of patients who historically we knew existed, but we didn't really understand their biological mechanism for why they were around. And now we can see that there are deletions in the genome that can easily be translated into a clinical lab. And those labs could now identify these patients who are going to be much higher risk of having this a really aggressive phenotype. How that will hopefully help in the near future is now we can start building these into our clinical trials and identifying if there are certain agents that may not be working for the broad spectrum of myeloma patients, because this represents a small fraction, but is actually working in that group of patients where typically those agents wouldn't get approved because they're not working for enough patients. So now being able to identify that unique subset of patients, we should be able to really help move things forward. And I think that's going to be hopefully really advantageous for patients and the treating oncologists as we get more of these studies and more of this complex genetic testing into the patients uh, that now treating oncologists see those kind of reports. We're going to have to spend a lot of time now really educating physicians on how to leverage that kind of data. It's a lot of information for them to process in a short clinical visit. So finding ways to increase uh, that, their understanding of those reports so that they can communicate to their patients and the patients can ultimately really benefit from all that advanced information will be what will be the challenges going ahead, I think.